On the move, at last, the mighty Ever Given has given up her spot stuck in the Suez Canal. Guided out by tugs, her unwelcome stay of almost a week is finally over. The first sound of success came early this morning, tugboats tooting their horns to signal that she was shifting. It deserved at least a thumbs up. The head of the international salvage operation later saying, we pulled it off. Oil prices even dipped on the news that this vital trade route would be reopening. But more than 300 ships that got stuck in the queue are still way behind schedule. One of them is carrying 150,000 products for Boxer Gifts, a family-run firm in Leeds which had already been dealing with shipping delays thanks to Covid and Brexit. Because we've got products like this that we need for summer and of course virtual meeting bingo. If everybody's back in the office, these types of lines, they're finished. Um, in terms of problems with shipping, um, it's another one on top of the many other things that are going on. Um, we have to adjust as a business. Um, we have to try and be open and honest with our customers about what's happening and make sure that consumers understand that these problems are, are beyond our control. Earlier today, with added very dramatic music, the Suez Canal Authority released its own video of the salvage work diggers on the bank and a team of tugs nudging this giant free with help from Mother Nature's high tide. And it is the weather, high winds, which were originally blamed. Now as the Ever Given sails away, she heads towards lots of questions about how this happened and who, if anyone, is to blame. Peter Lane, 5 News.